What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to a different perspective. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy. So, if you haven't seen it lately, TikTok is upset. The women of TikTok, that is, is upset that there are men out here who have the audacity to cheat on their hot girlfriends. Well, let's check this out, y'all. Let's see. Emily, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce her last name. Very, very hot model. She was on um, Justin Timberlake's music video where the women were topless and stuff. Girl got a banging body. Pretty face too. Um, so her husband cheated on her. I didn't even know he could do that. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Basically what this person is insinuating is that she's so hot, how could she possibly get cheated on? But let's hear what people are having to say. If you're a hot girl, do not give an ugly man a chance. You see that? She said, if you're a hot girl, do not give an ugly man a chance. He will always embarrass you. My sexy ladies, listen up. She's not wrong. In fact, I'm about to explain to you psychologically what happens to these guys and why the heck they do this. So when you're a six or above as a woman and you know you're good looking and you're attractive, mm -hmm. these men who are at best five or less, mm -hmm. physically speaking, they grew up insecure mm -hmm. and they are very self-aware, believe it or not, of what kind of women they can pull. Mm. So once they attain you out of pure luck and just kidding, personality, for whatever reason they attain you, you will end up becoming their trophy girlfriend and they will date with their ego. And so what happens is in the moment they will have validation from you just mm -hmm. being side by side to them. Mm -hmm. But over time they will need validation from other women too because they're that insecure. So mm -hmm. ladies, don't do it. It's BS that they're gonna treat you better. Go for the hot, confident guy that you've always wanted. Now to what she's saying to some degree is true but it doesn't apply for all men. I have seen guys that will get into relationships with extremely hot, extremely attractive women, and then they treat those women just like she said, a trophy. They will go out, they would show her off to the world, but then they also feel like they needed to seek validation, not only from other men by being able to obtain other more attractive women or equally attractive women, but also from those women, being able to obtain those women. That's not every man that's unattractive or not as attractive that's capable of pulling an attractive woman. He might get that attractive woman and think, oh man, this is my grail, this is my end all be all. I wanna spend the rest of my life with this woman. Some of these women are so delusional to think that a man would not cheat on them just because of how attractive they are, when in all actuality, for a good amount of those women, their beauty is all they have to offer. Finding someone that you are romantically compatible with is pretty rare, and that's okay. I fit very snugly within westernized beauty standards, which means that there are people who would want to date me, not based on who I am, but just based on finding me attractive. And that says nothing about compatibility. When we find people attractive, we don't go, oh, I wonder what their ethics are. I wonder how we will actually resolve conflict or have deeper conversations. You're just like- Yeah, pay very close attention to what it is that she's saying because she couldn't be more correct. I have a female friend who is dealing with this same thing right now. She came to the conclusion, the realization that because she's so attractive, that these guys are only wanting to hook up with her. She can't get a man to commit or to take her serious and is really eating at her. I had to tell her, I was like, look, you have a child and none of the guys that you've ever taken serious have wanted to meet your child or be a part of your child's life. What does that tell you? That they're not here for a long time. They're here for a good one. Just like, yeah, fit. Pretty privilege is a thing. Attractiveness within dating is a big thing. But these things don't define relational health, success, or like the longevity of any type of relationship. That's right. Beauty just means that there's a greater chance that people want to fuck you. That's right. And the bar for that is pretty fucking low. You heard it. She said your beauty just increases the chance that there's going to be more people that's going to want to fuck you male or female it doesn't matter and the bar for that is very low meaning that the quality of people <laughs> that you will encounter is not going to be the best for you they call it pretty privilege but it's also pretty curse from ew it's where the most beautiful girls get asked by the worst dudes to prom and they're like because they finally found someone that likes them <laughs> Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. I was about to say, yes you are. <laughs> yes you are. I'm glad she picked up on that. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God. Because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. Oof. 
why, why would you automatically assume that a guy getting an opportunity with an attractive woman makes him a horrible person just because he got the attractive woman? No, sweetheart, he was a horrible person before he got the woman. Like, you're still ugly, so can't change that. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's, like, why, like, guys with small get, like, huge mansions to make up for it, you know? Or, like, like really nice cars. You, 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 you can't make up for it. <laughs> And you, you can't buy a house and buy a car that's gonna make up for it, your size. Uh, you know? If you're a 10 and this guy was a 5, oh, oh, you lost How me. did that go? Because how'd you do that? And how'd then, like, try to come this? back. Can I be real with you? Look, what if that guy found, you know, certain traits in that so called 5 rather than you? Maybe you didn't peep that situation where he was communicating to you as best as he could, right? Maybe it was whenever he vented to you, you know, you put him down. Maybe in that five, right? Yeah. He from that, I don't know, I guess closure or leisure or whatever that situation peace is. That's peace, peace, of peace of mind. That's right. So the last guy, what did he say? Peace of mind. Y'all, I just came across this video on Instagram and I left a comment on her video. She responded back with the confused face emoji. I was like, it's always been like this. If a man wants a nut, it doesn't matter what hole it comes from as long as the hole is on the woman. <laughs> And if she is his piece, then the looks may not too much matter either, as long as he's somewhat attracted to her, right? So, let's hear what she has to say. I don't remember her at name, but I remember I watched the video and I related so much because she said that she would always go to the prettiest girls that his, that like she would look at her man's page and she would always click the girls that are pretty and all that shit, and then it turns out to be some ugly girl, right? And it's so true because I would always go to my man's page and see who he's following and i'll scroll past all the girls that i think are ugly or not his type or he will never he will never right and go straight to the girls that are baddies that that are pretty big titties fat ass all this stuff then next thing you know he's cheating on you with a tree monkey a girl that looks like it could be his homeboy like this just goes to show like nobody is safe with these men like see what women find attractive in other women may not necessarily be the things that a man find attractive in a woman. I know for me, as of recently, as of lately, one of the things that I find to be attractive that will almost trump the rest of the body for the woman is the kitty. If the kitty is pretty, she is pretty. That's how I see it now. So if a, if a female that I might not think is physically attractive in all other areas, if she flashes the cat and I think is cute, then we might have a situation. <laughs> I'm dead serious. What a, we, what a woman might find attractive in women is different than what a man might find attractive in a woman. A man just might see that she's carrying a wagon back there and think that that's enough. You know, he might not even look at the other aspects of the woman. I was at a restaurant today. A bunch of women came up in there. Thick as heck. All the men that worked at the bar, including myself that was sitting at the bar, were talking about the women that came in there. And they wasn't the most attractive women. But they were thick, you know what I'm saying? And that was enough. <laughs> There's no boundaries, babe. Ain't nobody safe. You could get got regardless of how you look. It, it ain't even about the looks no more. Understand that. Understand that. And then, like, a man will have to with a broom if it has a skirt on it. <laughs> yo, somebody in her comments was like, yo, but what color is the skirt, though? <laughs> Always be trolling. Save yourself. You just gotta understand that times are different. And as a man wises up and gets older, the things that he used to be into, he may not be as into no more. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot stay quiet any longer. That's unfortunate. Women, you have got to stop dating ugly men. I am so sick of walking down the street and seeing the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life with just some guy, with a solid four. When she thinks she's a 10, but she's loaded to the brim with toxic superficiality. Nah, that's too behavior. Never in my life have I been so miserable that I was personally offended by the physical appearance of a person that I'm not even dating. <laughs> like imagine being so entitled that you think it's unfair that women you don't know are dating guys that you don't think are hot enough without knowing a single one of their personality traits or life accomplishments. My dude could have helped invent fiber optic Wi-Fi and she would be like, but he looks like a foot, dump him. And she really thought this video was going to be a banger too and no one is into it, thank God. So she tries to defend herself. Men say shit like I said all of the time. There it is. 
So you tried to pass as Radfem, but then you went and had to take it full circle all the way into the manosphere. Well, men do it, yeah, and when they do it, you don't like it. I am so sick of this argument of, well, men do it, so why can't we? You sound like a supervillain. If you agree that judging a woman's entire value based solely on her outward appearance in a numerical rating scale is gross and offensive, congrats! It's amazing how you can run face first into the point and still not find it. Like, girl, you sound like Andrew Tate. Like, what you are trying to present as LGBTQ feminism is actually sounding more like a teenage boy who spent his formative years on 4chan. And then, of course, we get this. People like Drew Fallow Because, of course, she's a fan. Because even if what that creator does was noble, which it's not, because making fun of unengineerable physical qualities like balding and height is only going to affect good men and innocent trans men who did nothing wrong as well, even if it was noble, she's attacking chauvinists, and you're not. You weren't attacking any points or ideals or opinions. You just said something so laced in patriarchal superficial judgment and then did everything to try to weasel your way into justifying it. Like, I honestly feel like I need a Ouija board to communicate with Wilbur and Orville Wright to invent a new kind of bicycle for your backpedaling. I really feel like we should call the Olympic organizers and have them invent a new mental gymnastics league just for you. And if you think this kind of commentary is cute, go ahead and sit down and humble yourself because money can fix looks, but money cannot fix an ugly heart.